So, quick update on Radio Gaga, and I finally got my SD card working with ESP32 using SDMMC, so let me show you why that matters. Last time, I used two microcontrollers, one for RFID and one for the SD card. That's because SPI only lets you talk to one device at a time, so switching between them in code can get messy. I just added a second board to keep things simple. Now that I want to run everything off one microcontroller, instead of SPI for the SD card, I'm using SDMMC. SDMMC is faster since it can use four bits at once, not just one like SPI. Here's a quick speed test to show you the difference. I'll still use SPI for the RFID reader, but now both can run at the same time. When I wired the SD card up, I kept getting random errors. The card would connect, but sometimes fail to write files. The issue was that my SD card breakout board didn't have any pull-up resistors. Pull-up resistors are needed because without them, the signal line can float and pick up noise. That means that the SD card might think something is being written when it isn't, or vice versa. You can see a different breakout board has all of the resistors in place, but not enough pins for SDMMC because it's made specifically to be used as SPI device. Then I realized that you can actually use the built-in input pull-ups on the ESP32 dev board. So external resistors aren't always needed. After that, I put an MP3 file on the card, played it, and it worked with no issues. Follow for next time when I'll be connecting the RFID reader to select which music file to play from the SD card.